Emergency, emergency. <laughs> oh man. So disaster has struck officially. So let me tell you the story here. Okay, so right now I'm safe. The boat is somewhat safe. Uh, after 14 hours of sailing, I came into Presqu'ile Point and I put down my hook and was backing onto my hook and I didn't see a mooring ball. And they got caught in the prop. And it's like a chain and a bunch of rope. I took a picture, I'll show you that here. That's what it looks like. Uh, I already put the, I, I called my dad who was at his trailer. So I was just visiting my parents here. My dad drove in and I picked him up in the dinghy and we both assessed the situation and I have an anchor down on the front, everything's fine. And the mooring balls wrapped around the prop with some chain. There could be some serious damage here. The prop could be bent. The prop shaft could be bent. It's all sorts of bad things that could come out of this. Um, I already went in the water with the scuba gear and took a look, but it was just too dark. And uh, you know, it was like, I just didn't feel safe and comfortable. So I abandoned that. I was gonna like get, start cutting things and stuff, but I was worried that if I cut it, that this anchor is right near, uh, I'll show you in the morning, but I'm right near like a bank right here. So if this boat, does, if that anchor doesn't hold, it would just go right into the bank. So it's a pretty serious situation. Uh, I'm secure for now, so I'm okay. So my dad's gonna be back here at nine. The sun will be up. We can officially take a good look at what's actually going on. And I can get down there and start cutting ropes and I have a, a set of bolt cutters. I can start, you know, uh, cutting chain and unwrapping the prop. And uh, it's supposed to be nice and calm tomorrow, thank God. So, uh, I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go have a rest and uh, we'll fast forward to the morning in, like this. Ready? It's gonna be in the morning in, in a few seconds. All right, so it's the next morning, man. All right, so let me start from the beginning here. So I left, uh, I left Whitby uh, yesterday, and I sailed all the way here. It took 14 hours. It was coming in. The set, the sun was coming down, and I pulled into this area here. Now this is inside Presqu'ile Bay, okay? And there's a government dock there. My parents have a trailer just over there in the in the in the campgrounds. So I was gonna stop in and for a visit, right? So. Uh, come around this corner here and I come into my usual spot now. I've been here many times So the wind was really strong. So I pulled up past the dock here right where that boat is and I dropped my hook and the hook didn't catch so it started coming back when I looked behind me I saw a mooring and I'm like, oh no, and it was coming at me fast I didn't want to go forward and get caught in the chain in my anchor chain so Anyway, it, it's uh, I revved the engine and I heard a dunk, and then oh man, I'm I'm caught on the chain and the rope. So I frantically called my dad last night as the sun was going down. He came aboard. We assessed the situation. I put the GoPro down. I'll show you the picture there. And basically, what we're gonna do is you can see. I don't know if you can see that. I can see the two pieces of rope right there. Okay, now I do have scuba equipment and I bought the scuba equipment just for this purpose, an emergency. Like let's say I drop some, something important or God forbid I, I'm in this situation. So what we're gonna do, my dad's gone to the store to get a big pair of bolt cutters. I have a set of bolt cutters here, but they're pretty rusty and I'm not sure if it's gonna do the job and I need to get off this, this mooring ball. So he's gone to the store to grab a set of cutters and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna don my scuba gear I'm gonna go down there I'm gonna cut these ropes and I'm gonna unwrap the chain from the bottom of the boat and hopefully at that point we'll be free and there is po the possibility of there being damage see that's that's my big concern what if there's damage to the prop shaft if the prop shafts bent that means this boat's got to come out and I gotta, I gotta pay to have that fixed so I'm hoping that that's not the case. 
But at any rate, we're gonna get this sorted. We're gonna fix this. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my forehead with the scuba gear so you guys can see exactly what, what I'm doing underwater. I'm gonna go under there with a knife, a set of bolt cutters. We're gonna cut this boat free from this mooring. And if the person who owns this mooring ball is watching this, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest just to unwrap it. If I can't unwrap it, then I'm gonna have to cut it. All right, let's get to work. Good. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, so I was able to get off this mooring here. Unfortunately, when it went down with the GoPro, uh, the, the screen fogged up, so I got scared, so I didn't actually get the footage of me untangling it. But essentially, uh, there was rope wrapped around the prop, the chain went right down, and I was able to cut it free. That mooring ball is still attached to the, the ground under the water, so we're okay. It's not like it's gonna go float off and into someone's someone else's prop. Wow, what have I learned from this? Man, just stay away from mooring balls if you're if you're anchoring just keep far away that's that's the best i can say all right i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here uh thank you to my dad john potts for helping me out and uh hope everyone learned something cool we'll see you in the next one